The frame rate looks good. I think this uh, thing just likes to torture me the first time I start with part one on a boat shop. It's crazy. Yeah, that's looking smooth now. I don't see anybody on here yet, so I'm just going to start walking slowly. We had a few people on and uh, had to cut the live stream short because the quality wasn't good. Okay, somebody's on, so good. I know I have it set properly to public mode. So much better. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> it seems like this is a new thing now with the boat sheds. i got to cut it and then start it again, and it's fine. And trust me when I say I was testing this out yesterday to make sure. And uh, like I said, the only thing I saw was don't do this on the north side of the show. And what I did learn from that the uh, Bra the uh, Fort Lauderdale show was that it seems like when it gets snagged in that weird frame rate thing, it stays locked in it. Like it won't clear up. So. Okay. Now we're rocking and rolling. So we're going to keep it going until the show closes down. I know somebody was requesting taking a look at pricing, so if you uh, see something that you're interested in, just leave, you know, leave a comment. I'm not gonna, otherwise I'm not gonna stop at every single boat with the pricing. <laughs> just kind of providing like a walking tour feel for the whole show. People to decide if they want to come out, people that are local, and for people that aren't here, to get a vicarious feel of being at the show. Don't forget to give a like to the video. Okay, I hope the other people come back. We had a few people on and uh, did say I was going to cut the stream and try to get better quality here. Okay, welcome, welcome, people coming on, welcome. I had to cut the other stream, the quality was just really crapping out. Be sure to give it a like, let me know you're enjoying this. Here's the catamaran. Looks great, okay. Yeah, I think it was best to cut that uh, cut that stream. It's the, only thing, it's the only thing you can do to fix it. There's no other way to adjust it. I'll be experimenting with some other uh, things for live streaming in the future, I'm trying to like utilize other services in conjunction with YouTube. Let's try to research this some more. Just uh, switch this out. Now it's smooth, okay. So let me know in the comments if anybody's been to the Palm Beach International Boat Show before. Like I said, this is my first year covering this. I really like it. It's a really nice layout. And then you can see as we get over to the land, you'll see how that looks. Here's the uh, skyline. I'm going to kind of follow along the path here all the way to the south side where they have an aqua zone that's the place where they like demonstrate all those personal watercrafts like uh, flight boards things like that Okay, so someone's saying making sure it comes in at 7.20. Yeah, I have no control over, I literally have no control over anything. So you, you would have to check it on your end and let me know. Um, unfortunately, YouTube doesn't provide you with like any kind of tools to know the quality or anything. The only thing I did notice was that it had like a little stutter to it, that, that uh, frame rate wasn't smooth. But like right now, when I'm looking at the screen, it looks like, 
sounds like you know 4k quality to me but that's not necessarily how it's looking for everybody else Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, for everybody there, you know, it all depends on your internet speed. You just can push the little uh, dots in the upper right corner. Make sure to select 720. Yeah, the live streams are maximum 720 through YouTube. That's one of the things I want to check out. There's apparently other services you can use in conjunction where you can get bump it up to 1080. So I want to have to do some uh, test runs on that. We're coming up to Pardo Yachts. You might remember that from uh, my 2020 flips coverage. Formula boats on this side. These are the new Mercury 600 V12s. Here, I'll give you a price idea just because of those engines. You don't usually see formulas for 2.6 million. <laughs> I think a lot of that has to do with those engines on board. Actually, back on land, uh, Mercury has a section where they do a little, uh, kind of like a museum. You know, one of these like trucks that kind of opens up and uh, they show you like the inner workings of the engines. I haven't looked at it yet. I just saw that yesterday when I was walking by. An interesting feature of uh, the Palm Beach International Boat Show, if you have your own boat, you can come to the show via your boat over here, and you have to have your admission, and then you'd be walking through the little tent in the front over there, showing them your uh, proof of admission, and then over there, that's a uh, tent has food and drinks. I had some uh, beef tacos yesterday, they were excellent, live music, get a view out here of this. And uh, also to the right there is the Aqua Zone where they do all the different things like the flight board. And the, what's the other one called? The other one I think is called a fly board. It's like two things sound the same. Flight board is the one that looks like a, uh, almost like a hoverboard. It's like floating over water. It's a hydrofoil, an e-foil. And the fly board is the thing where there's jet, like these water jetpacks underneath the person's feet. Uh, Kristen Smoyer, world champion. Uh, does that I have a full video of her from 2020 flips so you be sure to check that's amazing She does like 10 somersaults in the air back to back This is a nice boat over here What is this one? This has the mercury 450 R's on it Mystic power boats Yeah, I was just finishing off my frozen <laughs> lemonade, so now I got both hands free. A lot easier to operate this with. So you'll notice, did I get it spiked? No, I did not get it spiked. I mean, it's too hot out here. I don't feel like having any alcohol when it's this hot outside. So anyway, over here is the, uh, okay, they don't have live entertainment, they got music playing, so I'm just gonna try to talk over it so we don't get any copyright hits. But uh, over in this area, amazing tacos. 
Beef tacos are amazing. I should have just done that again today. I went for something else today. I, I didn't like it as much. I really like those beef tacos though. So recommend those. And uh, over here is what I was talking about. This is the AquaZone. They might be done with their demonstrations right now. I got a little bit of that on uh, yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to land. This is like the southern part of the show. Oh, uh, there's uh, see that truck over there? Flight of the atmosphere. Yeah, that's it. Is nice. It's a nice show. Actually, I mean, all the shows that this company's Informa that puts us on, all their shows are really nice. The Miami Yacht Show, Four Ladder International Boat Show, and this Palm Beach International Boat Show. They don't uh, operate the Miami International Boat Show. They do the Yacht Show. So this is what a flight board looks like. See, it's uh, also known as an e-foil. See if I can get a shot around this side. Let's go around this way. So essentially what's happening is you have a, a uh, control in your hand, remote control, like a dead man trigger. You have to squeeze it. That propeller starts spinning pretty fast. As you're going through the water quickly, you're creating lift with that foil in the front. That starts to raise the board. So if you're, you know, if the water line's here, all of a sudden you're going up like that. And, and basically the water line is like down here. So it looks like the person's, you know, just flying up. Kind of looks like they're on a hoverboard from uh, Back to the Future, part two. Those things are pretty awesome. <laughs> and let's see this little guy here. What's, what's, what's the name? Marley? Marley. Marley. Hi, Marley. People are watching you, Marley. <laughs> now, let's take a look at Marley here. Hey, guys, give a like if you think Marley's adorable. Hi, Marley. He's a golden doodle. Do you have a dog? No, not right now. Okay, Marley, enjoy the boat show. We will. We'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. So now we're on the terra firma portion of the boat show. And you can see this is like a street over here. This part kind of feels to me like, to me, reminiscent of the um, Coconut Grove Arts Festival. I know it's not, it's not an arts festival here, but the way it's, the street is closed off with all the trees overhead. It kind of reminds me of that. But boat show version. And I think maybe we'll, we might turn around pretty soon. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way to the end. They just had some more boats. There was one interesting boat, kind of like a racing boat. I, I covered that yesterday. Oh, there's some nice artwork here. I'll show you that and then maybe we'll head back so we can look at the main dock, see the main attractions. What, electric boat at the end? What electric boat? You mean the flight board? I mean, as far as like an electric electric boat? No, I mean, there might have been one, a uh, green and electric. Oh, yeah, the small one. Yeah, I think I got that uh, yesterday. It was just stocked. It wasn't uh, riding around, but I think I did see an electric boat. Yeah, I like this artwork. I thought this was pretty cool. And this one's a mailbox. Quality's great. Awesome. So glad to hear that. You know, I try to do everything possible to make the quality the best it can be. So it really bothers me like when I hear things like there's wind noise because I have I bought a Rode microphone. Those are excellent microphones. And it comes with a, you know, the, the wind uh, furry thing. I'll just call it. But I don't know why the hell there's wind noise. I have, to, I put a second one on it. If I can find a mirror, I'm going to show you what I've got going on here. Oh, Mercury. This is what I wanted to see. Okay, let's take a look at this. See? I guess the 450Rs are not... Uh, yeah, no, but it should be avoided because when I, listen, when I put uh, those little fuzzy things on my other mic, on my, uh, the actual mics, just using the camera mic, not the camera, the phone's uh, built-in microphones, there's like, you know, the wind noise isn't even as bad. I heard a little bit of the, in the footage I shot you, so I was pretty surprised at that. 
So let's come up here and listen. Yeah, we've all just got our fingers on our last call. Last they kept a pretty good secret. Yeah, is this the uh, 600? It is. So the V6, this is brand new, right? Yeah, it's brand new. Okay. So how much more powerful is that than a 450R, like in comparison? Oh, let me come around. Okay, hi. We have some people watching a uh, live stream here. It's electric. It's electric. I'll just give them a moment to figure that out. Is this fiberglass or metal? It's metal. Well, while he's just getting that, let me just take show you over here. Let's see what we got. So yeah, I did a video uh, with Mercury Racing where I did a um, C trial of a Nortec, and it was had like a, what was it four four fifty R's on it, and it went seventy over seventy five miles an hour. It was amazing. Manufacturers manufacturers will have slots. Manufacturers will have slots. Um, so it's, you, can get a, you can just get one of their slots. It's electronic and. The, Somehow the battery got run down. I always put a temporary battery in, but it's a, it's got an electric la electric latch on it. Can I ask you a question? So how does this compare to the 450R? Can you tell me the differences? How is the fuel consumption? Um, fuel consumption, uh, cruise 4,000 RPM, 25 gallons an hour, wide open throttle, about 48 to 50 gallons an hour. How does this compare to the 450? It's I mean they're totally different animals. This is a, this is a V2, this is a V12. Okay. That's a V. That's a, the other is a V8. The 450R is a supercharged motor. This is naturally aspirated. This has a two-speed transmission. 450R has a single-speed transmission. So there's just a lot of different variables. This runs on 87 octane. 450R is going to require a higher octane fuel. So just a lot of different variables. Let me ask you this, because I always cover uh, cigarette racing over at the Miami International Boat Show. I also did a sea trial with Mercury, where they had uh, 450Rs on their um, on a Nortec. So, well, my question is with a lot of those kind of boats like the uh, Midnight Express, the cigarette, are they switching to this? Are they still using the 450 yards? Like that's you know for someone I, like I can't say for that manufacturer, but I know there's a lot of the, a lot of the builders that are running 450 Rs um, and 450s okay. are are switching over when they can. And now like okay, like on some of the um, cigarette racing boats, sometimes they'll have like up to like six 450 Rs. If you were utilizing this, would you be able to have that's what I'm trying to kind of get an idea. Well, like, you, in, in you, the layperson, let's just say you have six 450s, you probably would put three or four. That's of okay. The, of these onto you wouldn't necessarily good. You wouldn't necessarily put six, four, six 600s back on that boat, even though you probably could if the whole if the transom would handle that would handle that stress. So would you say though then overall this would be able to handle a higher speed? I mean, if you were trying to make the fastest, this, this, this boat these these engines are really designed for big heavy boats. Up to about 70 miles an hour. We're not trying to go 100 miles. Okay, so it's not. No. So it's not the racing then. So they're, they're, the R and racing does kind of separate that. So this is like yeah, you're saying. We're, okay. We're not, yeah, we're not going after 80, okay. 80 miles an hour. We're 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 hauling butt to get up to 70 mile an hour and do it with ease. Okay, because I saw some boats, some smaller boats that kind of seemed like you know they had like about four of these on there. And uh, well, when you say smaller, there's a there, down down the dock. There's a 50. There's a 50 foot. 50 foot formula. Okay, the formula. Okay, course, okay. Which is a 50,000 pound boat. I know okay. That this cigarette is what, a 53? Um, and I don't think it probably that. weighs 50,000 pounds. Okay, so you're talking about in terms um, of. And that's a 87, 90 mile an hour boat with 450. Right. So we're not trying We're not trying Got to replace that, oh, okay. that, 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 so that boat. So, in terms of the racing aspect, 450Rs is still in many situations kind of reign supreme on the Mercury line if that's where you're headed sure. for. Sure. Okay, great. Thank you for yeah. clearing that up. Yeah. Thank okay, you. thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. You too. Okay, interesting. So I, I started having the wrong uh, preconceptions about that, thinking this was replacing it. But yeah, I never did see that R on there. So, oh yeah, I went. Uh, I was looking at this boat yesterday, Ice Yacht, and I'm going to start heading back so we can see whatever we can see over on the, uh, you know, main dock area. But yeah, I'm glad to go there to Mercury. I wanted to get that. <laughs> Get that uh, cleared up with that whole thing. I'm gonna go take a walk now along the water line, so we'll see. Nice views from over there. Um, yeah, a lot of the big ones say by appointment only, that's true. 
But understand that you're going to get to see some of those boats inside. Especially a whole lot from Denison. Like I was explaining on the uh, first part of the live stream. And that's what takes up a lot of time when you're doing like a full tour of some of those big boats. It could be 30 minutes to an hour that you're on board that. Okay, look at the boats and check that. Yeah. Fort Lauderdale and also I did have covered boats. Like I've said, uh, Miami, the two Miami shows, International Boat Show, Miami Yacht Show, and the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. So all three of those boat shows. And now the addition of the Palm Beach. And to give people an idea that if they're not familiar with Florida, this is about a one hour drive north of uh, Broward State County line. Oh, okay, that's cool. Did you come to any of these boat shows? One yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was here yesterday as well. Okay, I'm gonna just cut around this way. I'm gonna then get back on another dock. I'll get on over there by HCB. Well, thank you. Thank you. So is the quality still holding up for everybody? Okay, I'm going to cut through right here. Okay, yes, okay, great. Let's see, does anybody know what HCB stands for? HCB Yachts. Anybody know what HCB stands for? Anybody? Let's wait to see if anybody knows. Because they never write it on their books. And uh, if you watch, the video I just did in Fort Lauderdale, you'll get to hear the explanation of it. I showed this one, the 42 Lujo. So HCB stands for Hydrosport um, Custom Boats. Hydrosport Custom Boats. Now you know. Okay, we came this way before, but then we're going to cut through and kind of see some other sections. So I'm not going to walk around that outer uh, section that brings us to Denison. We're going to kind of now cut through more of this middle area. Okay, and guys, if uh, you're just coming on to the live stream, welcome. Be sure to let me know you're enjoying it by giving the video a like. Also helps bring other people uh, into checking out the live stream. Kind of got a late start on it today. I was covering some whole bunch of boats from Denison. All right, thank you. And again, since uh, Fat 1010 is the everything channel, it is not just a boating channel, although that is a very big part of it. So, I'm doing this live stream. I've got one more video left that I want to just finish up from Flibs. I thought I would have it done before this, but uh, sometimes just other things pop up. It takes a little while to get them edited. So I will be getting that video done, and I'll probably do some other types of videos. There's a lot fewer people now. I'll, I'll be doing some other uh, videos, different subject matters, and then come back to the boating. So be sure to subscribe, and you could always check things out by just going to the playlist. So just go to the boating playlist and you'll see the boating. And you can recommend the channel to other people. Uh, let's say 
you know, somebody that's really into theme parks and rides and things like that, channel covers those things as well. And like, uh, you know, it's, it's really more of a travel channel kind of a, well, like it says, the everything channel. So special events, places to visit, things throughout Florida. But uh, I love boating and the boating really took off with viewers. So I always try to cover as much as possible. So yeah, so you might see like uh, a few months before you see some of those boats that I just covered today, edited. Okay, we went that way, we're gonna go this way. So we're gonna be soon getting to the really big boats. Right now on the south side are more of the center consoles, more of the smaller boats. Racing 400s. Wait, look at this. This was weird. I saw this before. This is like a boat lift, but it's something with the fire department, I think. Where did I see that? I saw a sign before about that. Wait a second. Yeah, right there, right there. I'm curious to see what it looks like uh, under normal circumstances. Come back. And if the quality is staying strong on this live stream, I'll keep it going uh, right up until I uh, walk back to City Place. It's really, that's a really beautiful section. And I'd like to do some more videos of the Palm Beach area, kind of cover this section of South Florida a bit more. But yeah, it was a lot more crowded before. And you'll see that in the other video. You know, that's see, that's kind of like the um, the debate I have sometimes in my head. It's like, okay, this would be really cool to show everybody live stream right now. But if the quality is not coming out great, there's that. So I can shoot it in 4K, have absolutely beautiful quality. So it's kind of a choice I have to make sometimes. And I think the live streams are great for the moment, but I don't think they really have the longevity that a properly properly edited, you know, high quality video has. It would be nice if they could get those uh, live streams a little better. I mean, I'm using a 5G phone, a 5G service, but just because you have 5G doesn't mean every section truly has full 5G. Okay, we're coming upon, let's see, Sun Seeker over here. And one thing I do think with this show is that it gets a little confusing to find things because it's so kind of like tight. Whereas Flibs has like a lot of those really long walkways. You can really kind of see different parts of it from other angles and kind of say, oh wow, over there is, you know, such and such. Here, like, um, I still haven't even found Mangusta yet. It's like I was trying to find Mangusta, I never found them. Absolute, I covered those two years in a row at Flibs. Riviera, I know I covered one of those in the past. Okay, we're coming up to the Gosling's Island Bar. Chris Kraft, I just covered that on the Flibs 2020. Aviara over there. Hey, right, oh, we got music playing. <laughs> Here's some 450Rs. We got five of them on here. What is this boat? What kind of boat is this one? It's a Mercury Race. Mercury. Oh, okay, another boat showcasing the V12. Let's see if we can see what this is. Scout. Is that what it says? Yeah. Marine Max. 
Got some Boston Whalers. This is the Boston Whaler right here. Coming up to Princess, I did one of their boats uh, today. The one you're going to see right in front of. Wait, no, one of these in front of you. I'll, 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 I'll tell you which one. And they have a really big, beautiful boat from Princess. They were booked solid on it. They could have gotten me on it like 6, 6, uh, 6, 30. I knew I was going to do the live stream, so I just told them uh, perhaps on Sunday. So they have me down for Sunday on that. Okay, this boat I did, this one that you're looking at right here. Oh, and just to know real fast on this side, let me just show you before we go to the princess. This is what I mean, it's like really tight. Like if you saw the azimuth section at the Fort Lauderdale boat show, like they really stand out. Like there's a lot of space for them, but okay, this is azimuth over here. Much tighter area for them to uh, display. So I'm gonna go back to the princess. Princess is a British based company. I really like uh, some of those princess boats. Pearl also, beautiful. We uh, showed the Pearl 80 just before in the first uh, part of the live stream. So yeah, this boat right here, you'll get to see the Y85. And the one I'm waiting to see on Sunday is this beauty right here. That's pretty cool. Look at that deck. So that deck can go all the way down into the water. And then that other section becomes like a stairway. So see right there, that becomes like a stairway. So you can have something on here, bring it right down into the water like a jet ski. Pretty cool. This is the X95. Probably a Viking yacht right there. I think that's probably Viking. Viking won best of show at Flips 2020. They're 54C, C standing for convertible. Oh yeah, this was funny. I wanted, oh, they, okay, yeah, yeah, look at this. I was showing this the other day, okay, look at this. So, burger, right, burger. Now when you have a burger, you might have some fries with it, and maybe also a I thought that was weird. Classic Coke next to burger. But the, cla the classic Coke is gone, as you can see. There's, there's, it's not here. I thought that was a little strange. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's not gone. Well, you know what? Okay, there were so many people that I didn't see it. So wait, so check this out. Okay, I thought it was gone because of this empty space. It's right here. The classic Coke is back. Here's the classic coat. Maybe that section is reserved for the Pepsi, please. And okay, coming up to Valhalla. And Valhalla is a subdivision of Viking yachts. I believe it debuted in 2019, either 19 or 20. So Valhalla's right here. You can see they're using the V12 600 horsepower. Let's go one of those over here. So right here, wow, look how many seats we got going across there. Let's take a look at that right here. 
Every time I see these boats, it makes me think of uh, a certain movie. Okay, see if you can guess what movie this is from. I'll see you in Valhalla. Mm -hmm. And they uh, spray paint their faces with uh, metallic spray paint. Does anybody know what movie that's from? I know the Valhalla thing is using a lot of things from Norse mythology and all that. Yeah, Mad Max, right? Fury Road. I love that movie. What is the name? I'm gonna see the name of that photo. Pause. That, you could actually make a just like do that for a day, just like go around and show the funny names of boats. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, okay, I see it there. It's a boomer. HMY Yachts, their big brokerage company for boats. If I'm not mistaken, I think the Aurora that I covered two years ago at Flips was part of HMY Yachts. Either that or it's just right next to it, I'm not sure. That's an interesting boat, that uh, Aurora. There's like so much controversy over that particular boat. You see all the comments on the on my uh, channel for that. But yeah, they're already closing things up over here. If you bring a dime with you, you can get a boat ride over here. So they don't have sea trials, but they got this one. You can go on for ten cents. <laughs> and then this is a jewelry section, and that artwork, a great sculpture, uh, an artist that I covered when I was doing the um, Coconut Grove Arts Vessel. Oh right, so that's not a, that boat I was showing you before is not a Viking yacht, that's a Hatteras. I think I keep thinking it's Viking because I know it's right next to the Valhallas. Okay, we're coming up on some nice ones here to the right. San Lorenzo. <laughs> I'll show you one as we get forward more. Let's see what this one is here. Hey, welcome everybody that's uh, coming into the live stream. Be sure to give the video a like. It helps support the channel. Get more people tuned into the live stream. If you're enjoying this, please do give a like. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, look at this one. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a nice sunset coming from behind that skyline over there. Okay, we're Ocean Alexander. Okay, so I think, let's see if I know where I'm at. So Denison will be to the right. We're gonna cut it to the left though. Yep, 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 yep. Once again, people just coming in a little later, covered a whole bunch of these boats offered by Denison. And I've covered that really big one over there before, and I just went on it today to see uh, the, the, some of the new changes they made to it, mainly just uh, the outside paint job. But uh, yeah, if you ever want to see that, look up the Thunder. I've, done, I've covered an Ocean Alexander, one of their best of show contenders at Flips 2020. So yeah, just go through the channel, go to the boating tab. Uh, you can also go to the, once you watch like a video at uh, Flips, there's a Flips uh, playlist as well 
you find all sorts of different boats. Okay, now when that says Mad Summer, that's by no means the boat right here. Mad Summer is huge. That was at Flibs 2019. And it's owned by, forgetting the first name, but uh, Don Sofer's son. The family responsible for building up, uh, yep, it is a Sofer boat. Family responsible for building up is a Jeffrey uh, Aventura area. And some people might also know, have heard uh, Turnberry, Turnberry Country Club and all that. Yep. And if you ever saw my some of my other videos, me wearing those like yellow glasses, yeah. yellow sunglasses, it's from the, this company here, Moran. Oh yeah. I think it's also chartered out a lot, that particular boat. That's the thing, some people have these humongous yachts and sometimes they're just chartered. So essentially, sometimes we'll be at this boat show. Some of the shows from what I've heard in the past, not always to be sold, but to uh, kind of promote them, like for people to charter them. It comes like the ultimate Airbnb. Water, water B&B. This is uh, Ocean Alexander on both sides of us. And I'm gonna cut back this way. I, okay, wait, we did this way before in the first part of the live stream. Let me go through the middle section, try to do something new. I'm still making my way to the north part of the show. We'll kind of go cautiously because that's where I know the internet kind of, mobile data kind of like cut out the other day when I was testing it out. Huh, I thought there would be a center section to cut through. Those are the Valhallas over there. Oh yeah, there's a few sailboats. There's one that's a uh, catamaran and that's from Denison Yachting. But uh, not a whole lot of uh, sales. Basically, just those are the only ones I saw. I think like two of them from De being presented by Denison. Well, there's one down that way, I see. At Flibs tw uh, 2020, there were zero sales. Miami International Boat Show has a lot of sales. They used to have a portion of it called Strictly Sale. Okay, welcome everybody joining in. Hope you're enjoying this live stream of the 2021 Palm Beach International Boat Show. If you're enjoying it, please support the channel by giving it a like. Denison is great. And you know, Bob Denison, the head of the company, he's an awesome guy. Really great, he's been wonderful uh, to me and to the channel, to you guys, the viewers, allowing full tours of the boats he's presenting. I've met his father, his brother, um, it's very much a family company, and uh, even people that aren't family by blood are still family in that, in that environment. Really great company, great people. Okay, now we get to the part with Okay, well, thank you. Thanks, Brumley. Thanks a lot. That's awesome. So, yes, I have uh, Super Chat enabled, so 
Remley just uh, donated five dollars greatly appreciated I believe that makes you the first person to uh, ever utilize that so that's awesome thank you like I said I'd love to do I want to do more live streams on this channel it's just that the quality always has some issues like uh, for people that were seeing the part one of the live stream it was coming a little choppy I cut it and then it finally we're getting a good quality now so I would love to bring you guys more of these oh, okay thank you awesome look at this boat 007 and speaking of 007 I'm gonna show you another boat that very much oh wow wait this is too crazy They're right next to each other okay this boat is called 007 let's take a closer look at that and then you're gonna see what that name what the name of that boat is right there Okay, so this is the 007. We have any, I don't see any specs on it. Okay, so I'm gonna head back and show you the other boat. I'm gonna just give it a little pan over here. Oh, okay, you know what it is, okay. But it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, this boat is, the next boat we're coming up to, very much relates to 007. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to walk by and you'll see the name come up in just a moment. It's, I don't know how big that one is. It's gigantic. I mean, look at that thing. I can't even, I can't even fit it in the camera. <laughs> so there we go. Whoops. All right. Right there, Quantum of Solace. Oops. So that's the other thing, when you live stream, it YouTube kind of cuts off all the features of your phone's uh, camera. So like, I can't use wide angle. I can't use my uh, volume keys for zooming like I normally can. I can't even use like the telephoto zoom lens on the, on the camera. I guess it just uses the middle lens. So you're like really restricted. All of the image stabilization on your phone is disabled, so the only way I'm able to keep it up is with a stabilizer. Oh, let's see. Wait, there might have been. Let me see something here. Was there? Okay, over here. There's. There might be a sign explaining something about this. Let's see. Let's see. I was focused on getting the boat. I forgot about this. Okay, here we go, Quantum of Solace. And they're not giving a price on it. Oh, here, if we uh, scan that code over there, then we could, so. There is a possibility of me covering this boat, but it's not, they're, right now they kind of have everything booked. Oh, 60 meters, thank you. They recently see boarding by appointment only uh, they know me from prior boat shows, so we're going to see if it's possible to do something come Sunday, but it's not, it's not 100%. Oh, this was not here the other day. Look at this. This is a big, beautiful 60 million. Okay. It's a beautiful catamaran. Okay, hoping the signal stays in, tact, because the other day was kind of really bad on this portion of the boat show. But I wanted to show you another boat you're going to get to see a full tour of. I did yesterday. The captain gave me a great tour. And that's the one right there. Right there, that one. So you'll be seeing that coming up. Oh yeah, over here, we have the actual island of Palm Beach. So where I am, it's West Palm Beach. When you go on the other side of the Intracoastal, it's Palm Beach. And that is the Flagler House and Museum right there. Up. Let me just, uh, there we go. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. Ocean vibe. Oh, Sunreef. You know, I was just about to say, I wonder if it's a Sunreef. Sunreef is a French company. They make uh, catamarans. They make both wind-powered, of course, sails, and they also do total powerboat versions of them 
So I have a video of one of their powerboat catamarans. Uh, the very first time I went to the Miami Yacht Show, it was just like a real fast video. It wasn't like showing all the boats all a cart. I, I think I just had about like an hour and a half and I got on several boats and just kind of stuck them all in one video. But you'll see that on that, uh, on that video from, I believe, 2019. And the excellent. So this one, you will be seeing on this channel when I get that edited. Got a whole narrated tour from the captain himself. You'll see every single inch of this boat. And that's what I'm saying, when you're, when you're covering a boat like this, it can take close to an hour to uh, do that. Especially when they're, you know, explaining everything like that. And then when we were touring the Excellence, this boat had pulled up, the Ambition. Not a bad boat, huh? Is the uh, quality staying intact? Because this is the area, just let me know before I keep walking, is everything staying intact okay? This was a section where I was not getting uh, a strong signal the other, when I tested yesterday. So far, so good? Okay, awesome. So I'm going to keep walking. So we are on the north side of the show. Oh, you're welcome. Who is that? Sneaky Ninjas. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the live stream. Again, guys, smash that like button. Yeah, like speaking of, you know, uh, live stream quality and all that, you know, it doesn't even mean, oops, my stabilizer just went, <laughs> okay. Let me just get to hold on one second. Oh, battery's low, that's why. Oh, battery went off on the stabilizer this time, okay. So let me just switch things out. I'm gonna just go handheld on the stabilizer then. Surprised that that went. Uh, uh, just hanging there. You know what? Here's a good chance. Let me put this down somewhere if I can find out here. I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. So when you say there's wind noise, you'll understand why that angers me that there's wind noise. You'll see my crazy uh, Frankenstein contraption here now. Okay, this is stabilizer here. Whoops. So let me, actually, okay, I've got the microphone stuck in there. So yeah, when I say I've got, there shouldn't be any wind noise. That's what I mean. There should not be any wind noise. So the stabilizer just lost its juice. What we got to do is, okay, let's get this switched out. This is from a power brick. I'm going to disconnect the um, microphone. So let me know if you're still hearing audio. And I'm just going to, let see how much battery I have left. Oh, I got 64%. That's fine. Wait, I've got my hands covering where you guys are commenting. You can hear me right now? Okay, awesome. So let me just put some wires away. I'm just going to go walk. Uh, just so, well, well, just let it look up at the sky for a second. I'm just going to go solo without the uh, stabilizer. wires put away so I don't lose anything here. What I'll do is I'll charge the stabilizer while we're walking and I'll be right back with you guys. I wasn't planning on that one uh, going dead. But the stabilizer was, it's kind of crazy, the stabilizer was charging the phone a little bit. And I had a battery pack charging these stabilizers, so what I'm gonna do now is just let that charge, and we could always, perhaps. Uh... Okay, cool. Let me, just, let me just lock this in place, also. It's not wobbling around on me. Okay, and we're just gonna keep going like this. This is not gonna be a study as before.
Wait, are you guys hearing it right now? Are you hearing audio right now with it uh, unplugged? Yeah, okay. It's probably a lot windier now though, right? Okay, cool. So yeah, like I said, they disable YouTube disables the, uh, okay. It's not as good weird, okay. So like I was saying, what, what's now? It's coming from, I gotta check this out then because I have this thing plugged in. You know, they took away the uh, headphone jacks on phones. So you have to use a USB. So I have this whole USB uh, adapter thing. So I gotta make sure that it's not doing what someone's saying there, that uh, it's, it's, it's supposed to be cutting off the mics on the phone itself. Can't, uh, oh, wait, wait, how do we get back? <laughs> oh, no, this is a different area. Okay, we're gonna head back. We're gonna head back. Okay, no oh, problem. And now it's done. Switch hands over here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead another way because I don't want to get uh, totally out of the show area. I'm gonna go around that way. Let me switch hands again. If I hold it this way, I can't see the comments. Hi, how are you? I wasn't able to get there. Uh, yeah, so we'll go tomorrow. Oh, maybe I might be back Sunday. Okay, perfect. Okay, take care. Okay, he's from 26 North Yachts. Gave us a tour of two of the boats that I just put up recently from Flips 2020. Here's a Choi Lee, same thing as CL Yachts. That's what the CL stands for, Choi Lee. So yeah, 26 North Yachts is like a boutique brokerage house. They're based here in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, by the way, Denison is, well, the Denison's all over the place, but like one of their main offices is in Dania. Gonna switch hands a little bit here. I have to excuse any shaking. Like I said, the YouTube turns off. The camera actually has amazing stabilization built in when you're using the camera itself on this phone. But like I said, with YouTube, it disables everything, including my telephoto lens, my wide lens. I can only use the regular normal one. And uh, yeah, my arms are pretty tired from holding this thing all day since like uh, 11 o'clock this morning. Okay, so we're gonna cut back around. You know what, they did change something before because yesterday I was able to walk to that 26 North Yachts via a different uh, dock that connected over to the other part of the show. So they definitely did change something over there. I'm gonna try holding it like this with two hands. It might be better. If I don't always see your comments right now, just uh, remember, I'm gonna try to peek down every once in a while. There. Beach again. And if you're wondering, anybody wondering, Mar a Lago is south of here. By the way, uh, I've been to Mar a Lago back when it first opened up as a club. So what does I say? Oh, what did I do? I just switched my. Quite a long way around. 
What? Wait, what did that just happen there? Ah, I don't know, the comments just went away. Yeah, I'm gonna just walk around this way just to give us another view. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the uh, land section. We can take a, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna just keep the stream going until I get back to uh, the parking garage. See some nice things along the way. Oh, this is really rocking over here. We will cut down over here. We didn't go this way. Reddy's here. Majesty Yachts. This Majesty 140 was the winner of Best, in sh Best of Show 2019 Flibs. Right there. But I want to hear the beating up, you know, part of we're made in the uh, United Arab Emirates. Are you saying, okay, love the Majesty 140? Yep. They're very nice. They kind of have like a strict policy. They don't allow any videoing of any kind on their boats. Um, I was speaking to them about at least just doing the outside. So, and again, it might be possible that I'll be eventually able to get coverage, but it, it might just be of the outside of the boat. They just don't want the cameras turned on when I'm inside. This big structure over here, I have on the 2019 flips, a whole tour of it. Um, you see it a little bit in uh, the recent 2020 flips as well. And that's Steel Mansion Yacht. Um, it's a strange kind of thing, you know, I mean, they, the way they kind of configured it was kind of uh, to be used as a residence, but they were also explaining to me that they have configurations to be used for commercial purposes, and I think that's where this really makes sense. Utilize it as like a, a bar, restaurant, special events, you could even use it as like a hotel. I think in that sense, it really makes a lot of sense to use it. for a moment. This is Wentworth Avenue Yachts, another brokerage company. I just want to check something first to see you guys. I just want to see how the battery is doing on the phone. Okay, it's fine. We got uh, 61%. Usually that's the biggest issue is the phone's battery always going first. So I'm kind of surprised the uh, stabilizer went. Yeah, and it continues. Yeah, see, I didn't see this the other day. I didn't even notice this. There's some tent areas as well. I haven't really ventured into them much. I did I did actually go into this RV, so I have a video of that. I mean, I haven't edited it, but I have a video that I shot of that. Um, let's see, we could... 
Okay, let me give you guys, we'll make a choose your own adventure thing, because bottom line is I'm parked in that direction. So, do you want me to walk through more of the boat show toward the um, exit that way? Or do you want me to go this way where there's like a really happening street to walk down? A really nice strip. Which way do you want to go? Yeah. Happening street. Okay, let me get let me get a few more people so we have uh, a majority vote here. Okay, that's two. The street. Okay, that's three. Okay, we got more boats. We got one from more boats. Three for the street. Let me see who. What else? That's two. But that's not two. That's the same. That's that's you twice, Doctor Rich. <laughs> Well, again, you're going to see a lot of yachts on... Okay, we've got three people saying that. HM, I'm not... HMY. How are you walk past all that? HMY. Let's go down. Let's go down, let's go down the street over here. We have, I think we have a lot of people saying that. I'm kind of interested in seeing that. I saw a little bit from the... Uh, what are they? The little trolleys that they have going around. They were telling me I was on a trolley yesterday. As, they're using it as the shuttle service. So they were saying it's been closed for a full year. So yesterday was the first day it was uh, back in operation just for the boat show. And that kind of reminded me of uh, at Flibs, I went on the water taxi and that was the first, when Flibs opened up for 2020, that was the first day of the water taxi service since that had closed down back, I guess in March. Yeah, it's Friday, where are you? I assume it's Friday over there, so what, what, where are you that it's a different day? Oh, Australia, okay, awesome. Hey, look at that, Princess Yachts. Look at that, they have an office right here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which street it was. Okay, I'm still not too familiar with everything. Oh, I hope it's this street. What's the name? Ban oh, shoot. Something, Daniel, something else. Excuse me, do you know the Palm Beach area? Okay, where's that street that's like really happening with the lights that overhead? Is that a cat toy? Huh? Is that a cat toy? No, it's my mic. Wait, wait, wait. Over there. So Clematis. straight down to the left no, a little bit? Just take a left. Just take, take a left to there? And then a right. Okay, Clematis. thanks. And what is this over Clematis. here? This is the Benz. Okay. Are you here at No, this is a microphone. <laughs> See, with all that crazy fur in it, people ask, I'm walking around with this stupid looking thing and you're still getting wind noise. At least. If I have to walk around something that looks ridiculous, at least let there be no wind noise. I just want to see what this is, then we'll walk to the other. Yeah, Clematis, that was the street. But look at this, this is nice. Oh, I wish that stabilizer was on right now. I'm going to try to put it back on in a little bit. I'm letting it charge, so. I think, I think my backup battery went. I don't think it's charged anymore. Yeah, dead cat. That's the term for it. I don't like calling it dead cat. I always think that's... I love animals, so I don't like saying that. Nice artwork here. So let me see if I can get the stabilizer on for a little bit. Just gonna sit down here for a second. Let me see if that'll turn on. Okay, I'm gonna put it on here for a moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's try to go with that for a little bit, okay? We've got stabilization. I don't know for how long. <laughs> it's it's going to somehow, at some point, it's going to just cut off again because it didn't charge much. I'm not even going to bother plugging in the other mic, though. We're just going to use the uh, regular phone mic. It's really nice. One thing you'll notice, nobody's wearing masks. <laughs> a 
we're gonna follow. Let's go around him over here. Oh yeah, you get these great sunsets looking down the streets over there. Okay, so we're gonna cut ahead to Clematis. No, nope, the cops also aren't, yeah. I mean, first of all, we're outdoors, so you still have to wear when you go into places like uh, I stopped at a Publix over here. And uh, yeah, you know, you still have to wear it. Like if you're going to Publix, certain business places are gonna still enforce that. This might be, is this where that fountain section is? Like the kind of main entrance of the show? See, I'm not still 100% on knowing where everything is for uh, this boat show. Uh, yeah, maybe, okay, maybe this is that section. I'll just kind of walk this way so we can see both things. Yeah, when I said a fountain, I think they have a fountain that goes off here in the middle sometimes. Yep, this is it. You'll see the lights overhead. So I'm heading back to City Place, but we'll, we can cut through this way. Oh yeah, it's like Brisbane. I would love to go to Australia. Can't wait till all this madness ends and you know it's cool to travel everywhere, no restrictions. This is one aspect I think is really nice about the Palm Beach Boat Show is how it's in proximity to all this nightlife. Like when you go to some of the other shows, like the Miami shows. Fort Lauderdale shows not as close to this, you know. Like Fort Lauderdale, the place to be would be Las Olas, but it's not in really in walking distance from the boat show. But this is. I think that's one of the things I really like about the Palm Beach show. What is this? West Palm Beach Green Market on Saturdays. Waterfront, huh? 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Wow, it ends early. I'm more of a late person. This is a nice looking bar. So it's over here. Okay, oh, that's music, music. I don't want to get any copyright here. It's blah, 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 blah. It's not like I can kind of edit here. Also, by the way, if I'm ever putting up one of these live streams, um, if, I, if you ever hear the audio go out, sometimes that'll be because of uh, copyright music. 
So sometimes you can just cut, you know, YouTube just does it automatically where they'll cut that sound out for that particular part. No matter how freaking loud I talk, the music is louder than I am. So I don't know, that might still go through. Oh boy. So anyway, let's see, let's get some comments, some more, uh, more things to talk about. Stabilizer is flashing on that last light. I don't know how much longer it's going to go, but it's so much nicer when it's stabilized, isn't it? Okay, what else we got over here? Okay, some live music. Okay. You know, it's an interesting thing. Sometimes when someone's doing live music, you might think, oh, that's okay, you're not going to get a copyright hit. But what happens is, this, this happened to me one time at uh, Flips. They, uh, me, bro. There we go, some comments. <laughs> so anyway, what happens is sometimes they're playing like uh, background music. So they might be playing the guitar, but all the background music gets the copyright hit. Okay, I'm going to, I think we still have to go forward because I haven't passed the railroad tracks yet. All right. I'll go up to the next, uh, wait for this light to change. I'll go up to the next intersection and then I'm going to head left. We're good now? Okay. That red light. That's awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Okay, yeah, yeah, we're coming up to the railroad tracks. The city place is just on the other side. you got to see this tree over there. <laughs> it's really uh, trippy. Where is Mar-a-Lago? So Mar-a-Lago was south of where we were. I think it's on Southern Boulevard, if I'm not mistaken. I'd love to do some, like, driving videos and, uh, you know, show some more of that. So, you know, I have to come back. Do some of that. But wait till you see this uh, tree that's like, uh, it's it's an artificial tree, but it's like a piece of art over at uh, City Place. So that's going to be going to the left. We're going to cut across the left. There's a lot of walking. Wait, I didn't see the comments there. What was that? Is it far, what? The uh, city place? It's a little, I mean, we're as far west as we need to go pretty much. Now we just have to go um, south. So, okay, I, there's a big murals over there. So basically it's uh, at the end of this uh, bright line. Again, I didn't see any place with those damn trolleys. Oh wait, that might be a trolley stop over there. But what happens is if I take the trolley, they wind up going so far north and so far like west. It's like, I did that yesterday and I swear it took like over 20 minutes to get back to where I was parked and it would have been like a five minute walk. So I'm just gonna stick with this. But yeah, I just want to get you guys over to see the uh, city place. It's really cool. But yeah, we walked through the boat show area. I mean, you really wouldn't have seen that much more, and then we would have been cutting up. It would have been a really boring street, so I think that street was a lot more interesting to look at. Mattis.
basically we're heading to those garages right there. Oh, my feet are killing me. <laughs> the bright line. I haven't gone on the bright line yet. Those are really nice uh, trains. They also do like certain things for the holidays. They do like a Polar Express theme. And I think they also do like some murder mysteries. I mean, of course, a lot of things got canceled due to COVID. The whole line was uh, shut down for a while. I'm not sure, I'm actually not even sure if it's up yet or if it just started service. Yep, we're getting there. You can see a lot more people cutting through over there from the boat show. So guys, what was your favorite boat that you saw passing by? See, you know, it's like a thing, like if somebody drives by, like that's what you call like uh, incidental copyright because like I'm not choosing to play the music. So, you know, if it's you like under 10 seconds then you're, you're cool, you know, if it goes on a little bit longer, you, you can get a hit. Okay. Kind of getting there now, almost. I think this is where that Publix is. <laughs> Down that way, I'm not sure. But I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to go walk this through real fast. Yeah, so some more restaurants and things over there. I will walk this way, I guess. Yeah, over here there was, a, has anybody ever heard of Movie Co. Theaters? Well, anybody from South Florida might remember that name. So Movie Co. Theaters was a theater chain that was uh, done by an Egyptian guy. And he had each one like different themes. So there's one in Davie that has a an Egyptian theme to it. And this one had a Parisian theme to it. And it was called the Parisian. I don't know if they kept that theming to it. It's now an AMC. Uh, the other company, Movie Co., shut operations a long time ago. So some of their theaters are Regal, some are it's all different, actually, different companies. And his theaters were amazing because they were like the first with curved screen, stadium seating, THX surround sound. See, I'm actually parked right here in this garage, but I'm going to take you for a walk. Actually, if we go down one more. Oh, there's one of the trolleys. We're going to go to where that trolley is. And we'll finally be at City Place. I could show you that awesome tree I was talking about. And it's kind of better. You need it to get a little darker anyway to appreciate it. Oh. South Florida is known for their plastic surgery. There's one of the trolleys I was talking about. And then just up there is Okeechobee Road, which leads back to I-95 and also takes you on to Palm Beach Island. Oh, finally made it. Here we go. <laughs> okay, where do you see this section? The streets, everything. Really nice. View of the 
tracks. Oh yeah, look, it still says Movie Co. Even though it's an AMC theater, it still says Movie Co. They didn't change that. And I mean, Movie Co. hasn't been in business for, I think, uh, like over 10 years. I don't know what that kid yelled at. It was their parents' car. They just get excited when they see somebody live streaming. So the movie theater's here on the right side. Some of the movies are playing. Not a whole lot of uh, enticing content to run to the theaters to see. I'm gonna wait for uh, Godzilla versus Kong or Kong versus Godzilla, whichever way it's called. <laughs> what about you? Any of you interested in that one? So the movie theater's up here. I haven't ventured up there to check it out, but yesterday someone said everything's closed up there. I was walking by. But I'm not going to do start doing that now. I don't feel like walking upstairs. But yeah, that was the Parisian Theater. We're going to cut across here. Look at this, the Harriet Himmel Theater. It's where you really get some beautiful things. And then that tree is coming up ahead. Yep, you're seeing a light up already. I totally agree. Yeah, in the daytime, all the leaves look green on it, by the way. But like I, when I was walking, I was, I was uh, parked at this garage yesterday and I came down the escalator over there. And I was looking, I was going, that looks weird. Like the leaves all look plasticky. And then uh, someone was saying, you guys see it at night. Harper, stop. And it starts changing colors. It'll all go to like one color. And I'm gonna come back to it, you'll see it in a moment. Just gonna show you a little bit around some more here. Pretty cool, huh? Like right now it looks like autumn. Let's take a look at the other side of this building here. Be careful not to walk across there right now. It's going to pop up in a moment. Setting up something over here. Action. More music playing, I can't get away from it. That's pretty. So what do you guys think of that? Let me see some comments. What do you guys think of the uh, this section? Pretty, huh? And I'm going to be cutting the live stream here. I said I would take you guys all the way back to where I'm parked and to see that tree. We've seen it. So I'm going to be uh, cutting just a little bit. Let me head back over there for a moment.
Okay, we're just getting across. Okay, yeah, I didn't. I don't know, something, it just went and lost a little connection there. No, no. So I'm just going to say no thank you to everybody that's tuned in. And uh, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be signing out now. But like I said, look forward to some more live streams on this channel. I'm going to work on, you know, trying to iron out some of those bugs with the sound and, uh, you know, all those other things. Trying to see if we can even get it bumped up to 1080 using a another service that then we like send it over to you so i gotta figure all this stuff out but uh be, be sure there's gonna be a lot more of the uh, palm beach boat show as far as some of those boats i was telling you about so those will be edited soon enough there'll be some other things to see on this channel uh just to give you guys an idea some of the things i covered recently there's like a, a dinosaur drive-through experience a laser light show experience oh boy i'm forgetting some of the other things what was the other there's been a bunch of different things so you're gonna be seeing that on the channel soon Oh yeah, a garlic fest up in an area called Wellington, which is here in Palm Beach West. And also on that, I drove around and I'll show you a community where besides having a garage at your house, you also have a hangar for your airplane because the homes are on their own private runway. So you'll get to see some of that too, which is pretty cool. So like I said, the Everything Channel, that's what Fat 1010 is. So there will be more of this boating content edited. I'll be coming back here to shoot more of it. Might be a bit of time before you see the boat video start popping up. There's going to be one more flibs that I'm going to put up, the uh, final day of flibs. And uh, I want to get some of those other videos up and then I'll come back to the boating. But I wanted to give you guys a live stream in the meantime to kind of get a taste of it. And uh, once again, thank you so much and I'll see you soon. Okay, take care.